Greeting sowers in the sowing land. This is Master Taylor Gentleman Jim. We've been posting quite a bit on our blog about a lot of fine tailoring. We've been showing you different things that I have done. But let me explain some things to you. We recently posted some daughter, some jackets that I made for my daughter. I have a college-age daughter who thinks she is the college queen of style. These are a couple of jackets that I posted on the blog. Now they're finished and I'm getting ready to ship them off to her. Let me tell you what went into these. These are tailor-made jackets. The jackets are fully lined, as you see. But from the surface, you don't always know what I put inside of them to make them better. Let's start with the sleeve. Inside the sleeve, I put a stay, which makes the edge nice and sharp. A lot of times you'll see the edge of a jacket and you'll notice that it will roll down. There are a lot of reasons for that. Some manufacturers, they don't put a good stiffener in the cuff of the sleeve. Second, they don't connect the sleeve, the inner sleeve, the lining, as you see here, to the physical coat. So what you get is a hollowness, and a lot of times you can pull the coat apart. See, here I have it tacked in some strategic places to keep the sleeve from rolling down so you don't get a double sleeve. Secondly, in the cap of the sleeve, there are two elements that are inside of it. And if you hold on a second, I'm going to get them and show them to you there. Now, don't go away now. I'm back. In the cap of the sleeve, we put what's called a sleeve head inside of it. And this is a sleeve head. Some people make them, but they're just as easy to buy. The sleeve head goes inside the sleeve, and that's what causes it to give it that little roundness on the edge. I never make a jacket without putting a pad in there. Now, we're not trying to make them look like football players, so we use a small pad. And pads can be bought in several different sizes. These are a small pad that I buy, and I put this in the shoulder. It, what it does is it takes the hollowness that you get up on the shoulder here, takes this hollowness out, but it doesn't square them off like years ago they wore real squared off shoulder pad. And it's just a thin pad, it's about half an inch thick, and when it's placed in the shoulder, it takes the hollowness out of the shoulder right there. Now this is what is put in tailored coats. The last thing is, in the bottom of the coat, I also put a stiffener in. Now this stiffener is woven, so it's not hard like cardboard, and it bends, but it gives the bottom a nice sharp edge. But I've also secured the bottom so that this doesn't roll down on you. This is one of the key factors that you see all the time, especially when it goes to the dry cleaner, you'll see a double crease there, because if they crease it, you get two creases there. But this is in place. This will not move. These are some of the finer things that we put in tailor jackets. Notice how the sleeve was set in with a little stiffener. Notice how the lapel rolls. So that you get a nice rollover, rather than it be looks flat against the body. That's what I put in them. That's what you need to know. Same thing is in this one as well. 
There's a sleeve head in there. There's a shoulder pad. There's a stiffener in the sleeve. It's soft enough so that it conforms to the sleeve. It doesn't seem like you've got a board on the bottom of your hand. This two jacket, this jacket is fully lined. I make all my jackets fully lined. Stay tuned to us and I'll be showing you how I put everything together. I thank you once again. This is Gentleman Jim McFarlane speaking to you from the lovely port city of Savannah, Georgia. Thank you very, very much. And always remember, be happy, happy, happy.